Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on my videos on thermodynamics and statistical mechanics. We're on video 15, and this is the sub-video on the Taylor Expansion series, and this is sub-video number 3. So, this the previous video that this I discussed the Taylor Expansion for a 1 plus x to the n. So, in this video, I'm going to do the Taylor Expansion of cos. So, look, at this stage, I've done the theory, and now I'm just applying it. So, let's go ahead and do it. So let's get the derivatives of cos x, because we know we need the derivatives in order to get the n coefficients. So we'll say f of x is equal to cos x. We know that f prime of x is equal to minus sin x. We know that f double prime of x is equal to minus cos x. We know that f triple prime of x is equal to plus sine x. But we know also that in order to talk about our Taylor expansion, we must evaluate each of these derivatives at x is equal to a. So let's do that. There we go. So these allow us to calculate our coefficients. So we know that each one of those divided by n factorial gives us our coefficients. So that means that c sub 0 is equal to cos a over 0 factorial. c sub 1 is equal to minus sine of a divided by uh, 1 factorial. That c sub 2 is equal to minus the cos of a divided by 2 factorial and so on. Alright, so now we have, our n, we have our n coefficients calculated pretty straightforward. And thereafter we, we need to evaluate the function at x is equal to a, uh, or we need to, we'll say, shift the function to x is equal to a. But we haven't decided what a is at the moment, so that means our Taylor expansion is as follows. That the Taylor expansion of x, where x is equal to cos x, is going to be equal to, okay, so c sub 0, which is cos a, minus sine a, uh, x minus a divided by 1 factorial minus cos a x minus a to be squared divided by 2 factorial plus and off you go. And we know that in order to get from t of x to m of x we set a is equal to 0. So we center a function around uh, sorry x yeah a is equal to 0. We center a function around x is equal to 0 or a is equal to 0. So let's get the Maclaurin series, or the Maclaurin expansion of cos x. Well, this time we set all our a is equal to 0. And if we do that, we're going to get 1. We're going to get minus x squared over 2. We're going to get plus x to the 4 over 24, minus x to the 6 over 6 factorial, and plus x to the 8 over 8 factorial. Or, if you want, you can rewrite that the Maclaurin series of cos of x is equal to infinite power series and I'm kind of scribbling now starting at n is equal to 0 and we have minus 1 to the n to account for the negative sign oscillating we have x to the power of 2n and we divide that then by twice n factorial so that's all I've got to say about that um, yeah, I'm going to do one more, I'll do the Taylor expansion of e to the x. So, thanks for watching, please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and also if you're in a good mood, you might click and add. Thank you.